Hey, welcome back to another awesome video. We have a, not a top 10 video, but a top 12 video. And for today's top 12 video is going to be the top 12 voice actors. This is pretty much the list of my personal favorite voice actors of all time. And why top 12? Well, for two reasons. Number one, I like to go above the nostalgia critic. And number two, I don't normally do top 12s. I usually do top 10s. But for this list, this was super tough. I realized when I was finalizing this list, there were so many other voice actors that I left out that I was like, I want to include, and I wanted to at least include two more on this list. So I doubled it and made it a top 12. Not doubled it, but I decided to add two more slots, and now it's top 12. And I know there's definitely a lot that I'm forgetting for sure. I'm probably going to say this at the end of this video as well. But if there's any that are your favorites, any of your favorite voice actors out there that I definitely might have forgotten, let me know in the comments section down below. And without further ado, let's jump right into this. And at number 12, we've got Peter Cullen, the legendary epic voice guy, if you will. And we all know him for his iconic voice as Optimus Prime. That is definitely the reason why he is on this list for that role and that role alone because of how long he's played the character and the legacy he's had in the character and now that he's retired it feels very fitting to talk about Peter Cullen and not only that but you probably didn't know this but he also has lent his voice to other roles and other projects of course like every other voice actor but with two specifically come to mind like Eeyore and Monterey Jack from Chippendale the Rescue Rangers. Number 11 is Steve Bloom. Just like Peter Cullen, Steve Bloom to me has always been associated with Wolverine. Besides Hugh Jackman, Steve Bloom was kind of like my Wolverine growing up with him being in video games and cartoons and animated movies, pretty much voicing Wolverine for ages, what it feels like. And of course, Bloom has lent his voice to other iconic characters like the Green Goblin, Zebo Rellies, Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, Starscream, the list goes on, Tom from Toonami, Sub-Zero, such a great and phenomenal voice. Number 10 is D. Bradley Baker. With D. Bradley Baker, there's something phenomenal about the fact that he has voiced every single clone trooper in Star Wars history, whether it's Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, even Bad Batch, and every other Lucasfilm, Dave Filoni project there has been in existence. Adding different layers to different voices, changing his tone of voice, and adding different personalities to these clones and giving these clones new life. It's just so cool what he does. And of course, he's done other things like he voiced Perry the Platypus, other roles that you'll be familiar with and seen him before and heard him before. His Clone Wars background is the reason why I love this guy. I love Dee Bradley Baker in other roles, but his Clone Wars background is what makes him legendary. Number nine is Clancy Brown. This dude really knows how to play some villains. Like Luthor to Taskmaster to Dr. Neo Cortex to Savage Press. But this guy also has done some other characters that you might be familiar with from Detroit Become Human, Mr. Krabs, and all the characters that he's done just kind of shows a testament to what he's capable of. Number eight is Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc to me is like one of the founding fathers of voice actors. There's Mel Blanc, there's Paul Witchell, Walt Disney, and either Jim Cummings or Frank Walker. Doesn't matter. This guy is talks about versatility. He's played every character, almost every character, if not every character in Looney Tunes. Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, Porky Pig, Tweety Bird, Foghorn Leghorn. He's done everyone. He's done everyone from back in the day of when it was Melody memories and melody tunes that era of looney tunes the og this was the og and he still is the og and the king and such a legend and number seven is sam witwer just like with d bradley baker sam witwer has a history of star wars characters amazing roles like darth maul star killer and many others and also just the fact that he, I feel like he's very underrated. Not a lot of 
of lists or not a lot of people talk about Sam Witwer when it comes to voice actors. I could be wrong, but in the circle, when you think of voice actors, he's probably not the first guy you go to. And I don't know, maybe I may or may not have a soft spot for him because I may or may not have met the guy, but bias three about that or not, I think he's still underrated and I still think he's definitely one of my favorites and I just loved his Darth Maul and I love him as Starkiller. That's just pretty much enough said and also he just feels like a very nice and humble guy. Not that, no, not that these other actors aren't, but I just feel like he's the most down to earth and he, you definitely can tell he is such a fan. He cares about the Star Wars material when you talk to him about stuff like that. That's why I love him so much. Number six is Kevin Conroy. I cannot mention voice actors without mentioning Kevin Conroy, especially with how many times and countless of times that Kevin has voiced Batman. From Batman the series, to Justice League, to the Arkham games, to Batman Beyond, to basically everything that is associated with Batman in cartoons, in animation, in video games, whatever it may be. Even taking live action forms of Batman just shows how much he cares about Batman and just shows how much he cares about the fans and how much he cared about the character. And how much he knew how much we cared about the character and he knew how much he cared about us. Alright, and nearing down my final five my list. Number five is Tara Strong. Definitely a voice of our childhoods. The 90s and early 2000s to even now still probably creating childhoods for people with her voice, especially with the range she has in her voice, from Timmy Turner in Fairly Odd Parents to Bubbles in Powerpuff Girls to Raven from Teen Titans to Ben 10 from the titled series, Harley Quinn in countless and various uh, DC projects, to a whole slew of other people you may or may not realize that was Tara. Because I remember when I was younger, I didn't know that Ben 10 was voiced by a woman. And I'm not gender stereotyping or sex stereotyping or anything like that, but it just blew my mind that a woman played a child or played kids like from the Rugrats and all this other stuff and it's just so impressive. She's one of the many voice actresses that deserves to be acknowledged in the world. Number four is Keith David. Can't not forget Keith David with how smooth his voice is. Also kind of has that grovel and that gruff and that scruffiness to it. But I mean that in the best way possible. And you have characters like Goliath from Gargoyles, to Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog, to Spawn, Spawn the animated series, to other voices like Tombstone and Despero, the cat from Coraline, to the Flame King, to Husk from Hasbin Hotel. A lot of just range this guy's got, and he's just such a cool cat. And again, one that may or may not get enough acknowledgement in the world of voice acting. And yes, he is also an actor, which is impressive. He has done some acting things before jumping to the voice work, but Still, I count him in my book and he's just so phenomenal and I'm gonna be keep saying that about these people, but he's one that is just absolutely phenomenal, even if I may or may not have met him either. <laughs> Number three is Frank Welker, another guy that really has a lot of range in his voice. From Fred Jones and Scooby-Doo to Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget to the Cave of Wonders and Abu in Aladdin. Megatron from the 80s Transformers animated series cartoon. Peter Venkman and Slimer in the Ghostbusters cartoon. Darkseid and Joker from Super Friends to a plethora of characters in his wheelhouse. Two is Jim Cummings. Wherever you've gone, Whatever whatever you have seen, there's a good chance you've probably heard this man's voice before. We're talking about a guy that's done Cat Dog, Spider-Man the series, Hondo Unaka from Star Wars to Clone Wars, Dr. Robotnik and a few Sonic projects, the terror that flaps in the night himself, Darkwing Duck, to his evil counterpart, Nega Duck, to countless of other Disney characters, and of course, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger himself. He's even in Shrek. You there, Ogre. And has also done the singing parts for both Scar 
and Rasputin. This man has definitely shaped some childhoods. Jim has a nice balance of versatility and characters, and he just seems like a really great guy and a really awesome dude, and honestly, I'd love to meet all these voice actors, but he's definitely one I would definitely, hands down, would, like top five, would actually like to meet someday. And before I unveil my number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Josh Keaton. Stupid! Well, you are dressed stupid. Only six, huh? What happened? Lizard and Goblin had Nick's tickets? Troy Baker. Wanted. No, no! You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Lamar. Get ball, land. It is your weapon that remains to be drawn. Man. Nancy Cartwright. Please, I have an announcement to make. I'm bored. Ha ha! You think you're bored? What about all those poor suckers out there in the audience? Ron Perlman. I won't stop. Not now, not ever. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your mind. I will never and neither will you. Rob Paulson. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Mick Wingert. You've been smearing Cap's name across your newspaper for a week now, when you've been told by me, by S.H.I.E.L.D., by the President of the United States himself, that it wasn't Cap. Are you sure they're not aliens, too? You're the publisher of one of the biggest... THE biggest... One of the biggest newspapers in New York. And now... My number one pick of my top 12 voice actors is, drum roll please, Mark Hamill. We all know him as Luke Skywalker, but I think a lot of people, if not a good half of the population, forget that he's done a lot of voice work throughout his, the rest of his career. He will always forever, to me, be Luke Skywalker, and that is definitely a plus to why I love Mark Hamill, but it's of how many characters he's played over the years, again, like everybody else, but there's just something great about Mark Hamill when he does characters, whether it be good guys, and especially villains. I mean, we're talking about Ozai from Avatar The Last Airbender, he was Arnim Zola, he's Nightmare from Ultimate Spider-Man. He's the Skeleton King in Super Monkey Robot Team Hyperforce Go. He's Skeletor in the Kevin Smith Master of the Universe. Hobgoblin from Spider-Man the Animated Series. Darth Bane from Star Wars The Clone Wars. He's even played Chucky countless of times. And of course, speaking of a character he's played countless of times, the iconic jester of genocide himself, Joker. From the animated series to Justice League to the Arkham games to Lego to Justice League action to a plethora of shows and things associated with DC. Whenever Kevin Conroy was involved, there was Mark Hamill along his side because they always came together like peanut butter and jelly. They came together like yin and yang. It was always the perfect dynamic duo. The true dynamic duo. And honestly, I really love him even more because we're not gonna have his Joker because whenever Kevin Conway was around, there he was always on his coattail. And unfortunately with him being gone, we are no longer going to have Mark Hamill's Joker. And I think we'll be seeing him and Kevin's Batman in, like, in, in an animated movie coming soon this year. I forget. I'm not caught up on the DC animated universe, but we can still cherish this guy's legacy as the Joker while also just how many characters he's done overall. And he's just legendary to me. He's outstanding. He's so iconic to me. And he's so awesome. And those are my favorite voice actors. Let me know in the comments section down below. What are your favorite voice actors? Like I said before, I'll say it again. There's probably a plethora of others I am forgetting. So let me know some that I definitely forgot, but not in not intentionally. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. If you want my channel, please subscribe to Oscars every day if every week. Make sure you ring that bell to new videos every week. Share the video with your friends, friends, all the good stuff and more. Leave some suggestions down in the comments. You name it, I'll look into it as best as possible. Look out for more movie reviews. Look out for some top tens I'm gonna squeeze in. I'm gonna put in some requests as well into the month of May. And if you can check out, probably this will be uploaded afterwards, but if you check out my previous video, we did a little, just a little special thing over here for May the 4th. So definitely go do check that out. It was definitely really awesome to record and edit together all that stuff.
and plenty more. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you 